Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed or if I looked any of it in, but the di it did seem like this, the recording was starting to get a little bit weird, so I had to turn it off. Uh, but I had to wait a long time for the audio to export, uh, for the commentary audio to export, so I ended up actually <laughs> exploring almost everything. I almost forgot about the Hades uh, Nexus. I almost didn't see it back there. I'm pretty sure I've done all, basically everything else. Nubian Expanse, I just finished. Castina Rift, Hawking Ada, um, Far Rim, Phoenix Massing, Palace Nebula, Rosetta Nebula, Mega, and here, Sigurd's Cradle, Titan Nebula, Now Holland, Threshold, Hourglass, Shrike Abyssal. Wasteland, Ismar Frontier. Okay, we've got two, uh, or no, one mission actually. I found apparently uh, a Quarian crash site in Hades Nexus. Look at the tally on that one. I've just been having, like, I actually, at one point while I was doing this, because it was until, until like 20 minutes for it to export, I was like flying around and I actually started to panic because I was like, I'm almost fully done with Mass Effect 2. Like, then there will be no more excuse to, like, just go hang out with Thane in the cabin, you know? Like, and and stuff's gonna go down. Like, you know, it's Mass Effect 3. It's the final one of the trilogy. Like, if you don't know anything else, it's the final one of a trilogy. Like, stuff goes down. It's just a bit... Oh, I should probably get some gas. It's a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I want to finish this game, but I don't. Like, you know, I'm, I'm freaking, I don't even, I might come back every now and then to this, to these saves specifically, just, just to remember before things got crazy, you know? Yeah. Oh, and apparently this, um, this planet is the site, I, I think I've read about it before, like, I, I have for sure, but I don't know if I've told you guys, I probably have, but where the Hadfell, Hadfell, whatever, refinery, um, the, this was where Prothean, this was the first place where we found Prothean burials, and some of them were, were saved for posterity, but the mining corporation got the rights to the rest of the planet, so basically the scientists and the miners have been duking it out, because the miners have been doing the same thing, they've been looting the graves. You know, as, the, as what the mercenaries do. But I didn't realize we could land here, so... <sighs> Sweet, <laughs> you know? <sighs> I think I wanted to land here before and you couldn't? Or there was no, like... I don't know, maybe it depends on what part of the game you're at. Maybe, I don't know. It depends on what part of the game you're at. Like, if I, did I miss some earlier? You know what I mean? I'm actually really tempted to bring... Legion and Tally, but we'll do Italian thing. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> okay, good. I'm pretty sure most everybody had most of their points allocated, you know? Oh, she has energy drain. So you're the one who gives me energy drain. You're the best. Shotgun, hand cannon, sniper, Logan. Perfect. It's a perfectly balanced team. But I've never, I don't think I was, when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, really? Like, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, a Orion distress call. Oh, hey, hey, it's Baron. What's up, buddy? Oh my gosh, they set up, like... I'm detecting a single Quarian life sign in your location. What? A survivor? Quarian is badly injured. I am also detecting multiple native life signs near your landing site. I mean, they had enough time to, like, set up a... Uh-oh. Commence pilot record. Master receives a guest notice thanks to some clever work silencing cyanide's engines. But the strain on the ultra was too much. The best we can hope for is find a friendly spot somewhere in the shell system or a port shore that isn't extremely likely. We were too nervous scouting this close to the Percy's Bale and we were right to be. We were nervous. At this point, I'm afraid we might never see the fleet again. With everything the cyanide has been through, it seems like an ignoble end. Landing was rough, but we managed to salvage from the wreckage the things we need to survive. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Commander Gorla didn't make it, leaving me the senior officer in charge. Wow, there was nobody else higher than you? Oh, th oh, this is the pilot! Oh, boy. 
We've scouted the landscape and found the planet to be extremely hostile. We don't dare remove our environment suits here. We're all open to rescue from danger of exposure. I don't know who or what is taking them, but we've lost more than half the crew who survived the crash. We hope to build a camp here to survive until the Adina found our beacon, but something is hunting us. I have to keep the crew together as best I can. We will send out a search party when the day comes. I will find my crew and we'll do whatever it takes to return to the Adina. Um, well, where are you at, guy? What? Oh, personal logs. What? I mean, wow, like, I mean, they set up a pretty nice facility, like, they were ready. This is a very jungly world. That's the remains of the ship. Oh, shh, quarians. I said it before, way back in the beginning, you never see dead quarians. Oh, oh. This is Adina, right? Is that what said? The area in what? For Our... There's another skeleton! And there's a... What the... Where? Quarian status, we have to defend her. Oh my gosh, where? I can't, I can't see actually any where enemies are coming from. Was it really Varen? I mean, can Varen get that intense? Like, about... Like, picking him off, like, one by one, you know? Nah, -uh, I ain't letting anybody get here. They have... I don't know. As a human, I feel the same way, but... Want some more? <laughs> Sally! Oh, I was not... I thought I was gonna... No! Stop! Why are you going after her? but they like park themselves yeah bring out the shotgun we got you girl these Varen are smart oh yeah not so smart you idiot wow um like why didn't you get here sooner Like, why didn't anybody, like, scream or anything? Then they went to go get him, right? Like, they, the guy led... I think it was the, it was maybe a female. I thought it said... They said it was a male, but... Um, maybe it was the girl. I didn't catch her name quite, but... Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, like, you never see Quarian, but they were scouting close to the Perseus Vale, you know? Oh, my gosh. Like, you see every other species out, except, you know, like, Volus and Elcor and Hanar, but, like, you don't, you don't see the Drell, either. Like, do we, do we, like, we must... Commander, you received a new message at your We probably gave her to the Idina, but... 
sign it. Thank you. From Captain Ismail Vas Idina, Commander Shepard, please accept my sincere appreciation for your efforts in locating the wreckage of the Cyanad. That ship has a storied history with both the migrant fleet and Cerberus, and we are pleased to know that her wreckage can be salvaged by my people. In finding and stabilizing the Tenet Forzen, you have returned to the Flotilla one of her newest and most honored heroes. Your efforts in furthering the quarry and search for their new home world will be remembered. Okay. Wow. So this was the pilot, I think. I didn't catch the pilot's name, though. But there was Lieutenant Commander, and then I assume Lieutenant was next. I would assume it would be Pilot. Newest and most honored heroes? I don't know. I mean, like... For what? You know what I mean? What, they, they didn't, like, destroy anything? Did they find anything? You know? Like, when Shepard's a sole survivor, she manages to, like, kill the Thresher Maw, I think. She or he. I guess you're just a hero for surviving? I'm not quite sure, but... Wow, that was interesting. Well. I guess I'll save. It's been a while since the Jarhead Station. The Jarhead Station. I'm like, I'm about to finish the game, like, completely, like, except for Firewalker, which we're ignoring. Like, I haven't done most of these side quests, I didn't realize there were so many. I believe we've explored everything that's basically in the Terminus systems, and all that's left, really, is the... Well, that's the local cluster, and we have the Krogan demilitarized zone and the super nebula where the citadel's at. Maybe we'll go say hi to Rex before everything goes down. I think I, I meant to do that earlier, but I just didn't end up doing it. Yeah, let's go run and say hi to Rex. I'm like not even tired. I've been trying to go to bed at a decent time. It just hasn't happened this week. It's just, it's just not gonna, it's just gonna keep not happening. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at going to bed around, you know, 10 and then waking up around 8 during my off days, like my off weeks, but on my on weeks I gotta friggin' be all over it, you know? Let's do... I know, right? Weird. Oh, shoot. Sorry, buddy. Overload. Or, I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point, but sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to Tachanka. We're just going to Tachanka, one of those violent places in the freaking galaxy. Look at those banners blowing. like an official landing pad of like any sort whatsoever. I like it. What is one of the only places where like you're getting off and on is marked. There's the young hero, Erdnut Grunt and his victorious Krant. Uh-huh. Don't talk to him. Over, Captain. Go to the clan leader, Erdnut Grunt. I can go where I want to. Well, I think usually there, Edie says something, but she did not this time. Is my, is my friend? <gasps> are you here? Are you mine? No, you're not. Are you? You are. <gasps> you are! Oh my god! I wish I could keep you. I wish I could take you with me, man. Be like my Mabari. 
He's so cool. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? Rex! It has been a long Sounds time. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a new... Tr it's a new day for the Krogan. We shall rise again. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. I've got a few clans, but too many are turning their backs on us entirely. Oh, that's changed. That's different. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send, we stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a... That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans, like every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, hmm. my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. I hope that works well for your people. You don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Come with me! Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could, but I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I swear Rex has something to... Scare us at some point, but maybe I am just like hallucinating. What are the children? Probably five years from the right. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow hey, around. Hey, thank you. Oh, Grunt got stuck. Freaking Ur's. Oh, defense guns. Let's, okay, let's poke the defense guns. Looks like Ur's finally found someone. To Dang it. Fane says something there too. Step back, my bitch. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. That's true. And there's pigeons here, too. They didn't mention pigeons. One wrong step, Shepard. You know my name. Don't talk to me like, like, like you think you can do anything to me. Oh, Rex. King of the rubble pile, but it's his rubble pile. Gosh dang it, it's his people's, and they're gonna make something great out of it someday. Heck yeah, we did. Shaman. A human killed the thresh. Speaking for the females is an honor, even if it delays my rite of passage. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. And I'll kill you. I wouldn't dare say anything against you. How's it going? Can we... Is there... Shepard, I hope you have more blood on your hands and more tales of conquest. What better for proud warriors to discuss? Oh, hey! Look at this! I've never... <laughs> destroyed an ancient sapien synthetic bigger than a dread mountain capable of devastating a planet. A big tale, Shepard. I know you are a warrior for a now. But that is much to believe. Still, I almost believe you. If true, it is likely more foreshadow than history. <laughs> I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. Oh, that was cool. I hadn't done that before. It's just little things, you know, that they throw in. I like that. I survived the mod during my run. I don't even know where I'm going. I forget that you gotta go down. Hers! Hers! Be good, okay? Take care of yourself. Oh, wait, no, I'll go. Um. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? I'm gonna get some meat for hers before I go. Vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. <laughs> I swear! It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Help yourself to more. I'll give you a discount at my store. Oh, Anything yeah. you want, you buy at cost. I should go. You suit yourself. Oh, no. There's no more me. No. Urs. Be a good boy, all right? Take care of yourself. I'm like getting. I don't know. I'm sad. 
I wish he could come with me. That guy's like, I wish I could be with my son. I'm like, I wish I could be with my Varen. is the most beautiful Varen I have ever seen. Hmm. I know we kind of skipped through Rex's talk, but it was just good to see his face. Uh, I can't see Caden. I can see Tally and Garrus whenever I want. Um, shoot, I don't know. Uh, a Liara? I can see Liara whenever. Now. I mean, you know, sort of whenever. I can visit her. I can see Anderson. I'm like already getting heavy hearted. <sighs> no point in that. Must enjoy the day while we have it. Me and Ian have already done this whole thing. That's something these games kind of teach you, but I feel like Dragon Age, especially, and most recently, I mean, the one that sticks with me, that sticks with me the most, anyway, is uh, Solus. Solus says that to you. In Inquisition. I think, regardless of if you're romancing him or not, but I could be wrong. Whoa, this is the biggest one we've seen yet. Holy crap. This planet's about to be swallowed up. Oh man, we're getting closer. Getting closer. I just I could stare at this for so long just knowing that every minute I'm looking at them like this means that there's one less minute that I have to move on with the story. You know, like, I mean, I do, I want to, you, like, you, you, you kind of enjoy that heartbreak, you know, you wouldn't do it if you didn't, you know, but, I don't know, it's just, you grow and overcome by going through things like sorrow and loss, you can fall and stumble and be drowned and consumed by it. And never move on anywhere. Just kind of stay in a rut. For years. For your whole life. You could die in there. Maybe someday you'll pick yourself out of it. Falling into it doesn't mean you're going to stay into it. But falling into it really friggin' sucks. But. Once you get out of it, it's just like, oh, wow, this is what the sun's like. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But, but some people, I mean, they can't, like, I freaking, I have no problem with wallowing for a bit, you know? Like, I think there's no problem with that. But someone like Shepard does have, she, she can't, what we would take for granted is a grieving period she can't have, or, or not even a grieving period, just like a, I don't know, it's late. It's already midnight, I think I've been playing for 12 hours. We had to have gotten another system besides the Boltzmann one in here. No? Jeez. What the heck's in here? Boop. Oh, I was like, Doofed? <laughs> it's like Doofed. Dutch for the head. Cool. So the details they put into this, it's like, oh, this certain, this, this, in this specific, specific plantoid, the iridium from it is in fire resistant walls. Like, but the detail, the detail, I love it. Can't even handle it. Koshiroten. Hmm. 
I see. Veltman is very important for Citadel warships. It's almost like you can like hear it in her head. Like they've basically gone to every star system they could plot that they could feasibly get to without compromising any future Reaper activity, you know what I mean? I feel like we had one over here. That might have been specifically for Jack or something, but I believe we have gotten 100% on every single system, which also includes the ones I bought, because I bought all the star maps off that Asari lady in Ilium. And the only thing we have left are like uh, iridium, you know, metal rich whatevers and yep. one more time. Almost seventy hours this time through. Of course that doesn't you know, that counts me just leaving the leaving it for 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time, leaving it running just because I'm off doing something else for a little bit, but. Well, actually, no, this is, this is actually also, a, yeah, no, is it, is it including, I don't think it is. It might be including the previous time I played. I'm not sure. With a hundred, over a hundred parts at this point, I don't know. Pretty sure I started out at zero. Because I didn't reload a save and start playing Mass Effect 2. I uploaded a new yeah, I uploaded a new one basically from Mass Effect 1 onto 2. <laughs> I'm being very indulgent, can you tell? <laughs> I was like, I'm curious because I was looking, I was like, oh, like he gets to wear a sexy outfit. Why do I have to wear like my like my comfy captain pajamas? But I was like, I wonder what his black leather would look like with her black leather. Oh, it looks pretty dang good. If she wasn't head bobbing so much, it'd be much better. <laughs> this dead dress is so gorgeous on her, too. I am half tempted to get Mass Spec 3 for the PC and upload a mod where she can wear a decent dress. Let's see. Freak, look, they look so freaking good together. Like, I don't think you'd lay in bed in your nice formal dress like that to just relax, but maybe, heck, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's super comfy. But she looks really good like that with him. Oh, there's her arm. She's laying on her arm. I see. I'm, like, so at peace with this right now. But another part of me is remembering that maybe, I don't know, you could say, oh, you know, you don't want to dress up for the guy on whatever the last night. It could be stupid, like, it's derogatory or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's actually thinking that. But Thane is basically wearing a business suit at all times is what it kind of looks like. So I don't know. But I think another reason for me is that if I was Shepard, I wouldn't want to show up in my Cerberus stuff or the Renegade because that Renegade looks stupid. So Shepard's gonna walk up to the Alliance because she's no longer, she's not in the Alliance right now technically and she's not in Cerberus either. So she's gonna walk up in whatever she darn well feels like and she is a powerful woman and she looks powerfully good in that dress. She's gonna show up in that dress and kick everyone's butt. She's gonna show up to Alliance headquarters dressed as a fancy civilian but as one with a very, very military history. Everybody knows who she is. And that outfit's gonna make a statement. Not that you actually get to do that, but I picture that. That's my headcanon. <laughs> but, I don't know. I didn't even think about it until just now, putting her in that. It's like one of those like things where it's like, oh, it's like, this is the last night, you know? It's the last time they will be able to do this. You don't have to, they don't have to acknowledge it's the last night. Just the fact that she puts on the dress... Even if they don't do anything else but lay in bed like this, like, it just kind of shows, I don't know, the importance. I am being overly sentimental about this, aren't I? I've been way too much time 
put this that that's not, I could literally just sit there I could go to bed right now like with that like I just I could just go to sleep Free. oh I never noticed you can see the reflection on the floor I get so distracted I like that you can see the reflection look at her most powerful woman in the galaxy Freaking, I don't know. She can't keep fish alive. <laughs> uh, take care of yourself, little buddy. Shepherd knows. Shepard knows when it's time to move on. I'm the center. She's not moving on. She knows when it's time to move forward to keep going. Technically, that's a lie. There is Thane is actually up there. Crew members, none. Thane is actually up there. I just noticed that, but it said none still. A little, a little, a little. Well, I believe that is Mass Effect Two officially finished for me. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing little things at the end instead of like doing no them all at once. For you, Commander. Just uh Yeah. Just kind of remembering that, you know, the get it's not always about these huge galactic saving the every person on the planet. It's like doing what you can. We were able to, you know, you know what? It's actually really cool that the last mission was that one because I think that was the only one where we were able to save a survivor, at least in these last little batch of, of the side missions we've done. Look at that. Freaking, that's like perfect. Like, it's a reminder that Yes, Shepard can save the galaxy. She can save millions and millions of lives. Like, but in this instance, she was able to save one Quarian from a pack of Varen that had, like, torn her crew apart. She was able to save one, at least, you know, she was able to, like, right there. Like, it wasn't just, like, this vague, like, I defeated the Collectors, and so therefore humanity and the galaxy are safe for a while. She picked this woman up and helped her get to the shuttle while kicking Varen in the face, you know? I was like, that, I mean, yeah, she wishes she could, she could have saved all of them, but she was able to save at least the one. Ugh, the amount of interruptions a person gets at night is kind of hilarious. <laughs> nah, it's all good, but I don't know. I don't know, I like that. She was able to put her hand out and lift a person up off the ground and save them, you know? It's that face-to-face -face con physical contact thing. It wasn't just a vague ideal she was fighting for. She was fighting for this Quarian's life. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here. Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. This is perfect. I freaking love this. So like, I don't know, Shepard's, like, now at this point, Shepard's walking around in this, and everybody, it, it's, for the people who are aware, which is probably most of them, they are probably realizing what this means. At least, this is, this is the sort of story I'm making up right as I go. They are seeing her walk around in this, and they're like, all right, it's coming. The time is, time is here. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Thank you, Cerberus SR2. About, about you. You've been great. Been everything I could have wished for and more. Well, let's we'll go into the. Like, I feel like we should be, like, turn ourselves in, like, now, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, uh, exit. Alright, so there we got the autosave. Yep. Ah. Well. Shepard and I, thank you guys for your patience and for if you've gotten this far <laughs> freaking thank you for watching all this even after the main game stuff i really enjoy i, I don't i have not done any of those i'm pretty sure any of those side missions before 
So that was really cool. I'll have to see if there's more you can get, like, as you go throughout. If you, like, time it, like, before, like, you know, before the first big thing that happens, or the second big thing, and the third big thing, you know? The big major checkpoints, the big story checkpoints, like Horizon and the Derelict Reaper and all that, but... Mass Effect 2, despite its color scheme that I wasn't really fond of, is probably... it. It's very difficult, but it's... It's the most solid of all of them, I think. Of all the games, it is the most well made. Those those cutscenes for the side missions were freaking great. Like, it just added something, made it feel more important. It made it feel like it mattered, you know? And I'm, I'm curious to see. I'm gonna upload this to Mass Effect 3 and I'm curious to see if what will change, if we'll get, like, any extra little letters or notes or anything. But it's with a grateful heart that I bid ye farewell. See you. See you on the other side. Thanks again, everyone.